Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia saw an increase of more than 900 cases of COVID-19. I'm Bridget Matter. Ben Becker has the night off. Here's the very latest when it comes to coronavirus. Globally, we've seen more than half a million deaths from the virus. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. JSO says 178 inmates tested positive for COVID-19. The jail system saw an increase of 37 new cases today. Plus, Duval County saw an increase of COVID-19 cases. Today, the county set a record in new cases in a single day. What you're seeing is a graph showing the rise in cases in the area in the last 30 days. Action News Jack's Jamarlo Phillips is live from the Legends Center on the north side. Jamarlo, today, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says the leading age group for coronavirus cases are 25 to 34 year olds. He did, and this site I'm standing at here at the Legend Center, it can test up to 400 people each day. But starting tomorrow, when crews and medical professionals get here and set up, they will only test those who are six years of age or older. Hundreds of cars lined outside TIAA Bank Field this morning as people waited hours to get tested for coronavirus. Just miles away at the Legend Center walk-up testing site, lines formed outside. Starting on Monday, the site will only test pediatric patients six years old and older. In a news conference today, Governor Ron DeSantis pointed to younger age groups as the reason for the spike in Florida cases. You know, most of the transmission we're seeing is not because people are going to work, it's because they're being social, correct? I, I would agree with that. Yep. So you have social interactions that are really driving.